Okay, hello everyone and welcome back to Hollow Knight. Uh, in this episode of Hollow Knight, I'm going to fulfill my promise, which was to explore the other parts of this area. This is going to be an interesting one, mainly because I have no idea where any of the shit leads. And I'm pretty sure that I... Well, actually, no. I was going to say I'm pretty sure I just went the wrong way. But then again, technically, I didn't because I can just fall down this main hole again, which probably would be an easier way to explore everything instead of, you know... Or I could just fall into the spikes instead of not knowing where the fuck to go. Oh, god damn it. Just don't die here. That's like my request for myself. Because I am going to be honest with you, I hella don't remember where I fell off. I just remember that there was a part where I fell off. Oh, I think I nearly got caught by that the first time around as well. There we go, this is the one. Perfect. Oh, and this guy is here. I don't remember who this is, but I kind of know. Oh. That's interesting. Yeah, bath with friends. That's a family guy joke, I remember that specifically. Can we steal your weapon? No, I'm not gonna do that, that would be a dick move. Don't steal kids. Uh, what I was gonna say is, yeah, that is actually one of those, you know, increasingly rare. Holy shit, I gotta turn down my TV a bit, this is loud as hell. I had it turned up actually way more than I usually do, I don't know why. Uh, that was one of those like rare, like brilliant Family Guy moments, <laughs> like the jacuzzi. A jacuzzi is basically a bath with friends and it's kind of gross. And I kind of agree. Oh, hello. Okay. Obvious barrier. That's like, you know, the, for me... If I was, like, unbelievably rich, uh, that would still be, like, the last item on my list to get a fucking jacuzzi. So, yeah, okay. We cleared out one of the pads very easily in three succinct minutes. I mean, that's efficiency, boys. That's how we do things on this channel. Uh, yeah. Time to go the other way. Which at this point is kind of... A while, uh, well, like a ways back, but who gives a shit. And then, oh, yeah, you're an enemy. Why do I always think that's an NPC? I guess it has the look of one. Oh, okay. Idiot. He fell into his own trap. I keep getting caught by them. I'm stupid. Okay, just fall off, please. Thank you. Actually, very, very convenient. I'm trying to... Just once. Thank you. I think that's the first time I've managed... To avoid getting hit by that en enemy. Here we go. So what? Oh, it's... This is one of those areas. Yeah, we ain't doing this. We ain't doing this. You're for sure not, to men not meant to come here. Which means we have pretty much... Again, very efficiently exhausted all of our options. 
Look, that snipe is unbelievable. I swear those things know where you're gonna be. It's like fucking fighting game tactics. As in fighting game AI tactics. Which notoriously have a habit of reading your inputs on the higher difficulties. I know because I've been on the receiving end of these NPCs or like AI fighters. That's why I always re recommend if you are trying to learn a fighting game never to practice extensively against the AI. I mean it's fun to like you know try to see if you can do a combo under pressure or something but them bitch is straight up cheating, that's the problem with them. And it doesn't like accurate re accurately reflect how anyone IRL would ever play. I don't know why I'm talking about this, but hey. Uh good a chance as any oh fuck. Oh, and they make you go around. Yeah, I'm gonna hit this uh, bench here. Hit that bitch up. Well, that was a waste of the first part of this episode. Not really, because at least I know what's going on where. You know what I mean. I really wonder when we're gonna get the ability... This is not it. To bl to break floors. Because... Oh, okay. Oh, this is where they start spawning under you. I kinda hated this part. Which makes me wanna... Get this over with. At fuck. Makes me wanna get it over with as quickly as I can. Which I just did. Almost. Yeah, I'm not fighting these enemies because honestly, what's the point? I mean you get geo from them or whatever, but Kind of a minuscule amount. Oh wait, how did I? Oh fuck. Whole army of these things. How did I get... Get out of here. I don't remember. I think I have to go the whole way around. Which is kind of shitty. Did you see that avoidance? Man, I still haven't... <laughs> Fuck. The reason I've not yet checked out a speedrun of this game is because I don't want to spoil stuff for myself, but... I can imagine speedrunning this game to be pretty crazy. Somehow these 2D Metroidvania type games are always like prime candidates for all the speedrunning tricks, you know, like the sequence breaking, the... I almost said getting th items out of order, but that is what sequence breaking is, so... You know what I mean. It's always like the Super Metroid... Excellent speedrunning game. Yeah, you know, just kind of the ones that don't, don't restrict what you are doing. And this looks like one of those games. Did I just... I just fucked it up. I just fucked the whole thing up. Oh, this is... Who would have thunk that this would be the most difficult part of this video? Getting out of this place. It's challenge number one. Okay. Let's 
stay calm and collected. This thing can fuck right off. Oh, thank you. Just make it out of there. All right. Oh man, that's far away. There is quite a bit of backtracking in this game, that's for sure. Par for the course, of course, but... Par for the course, of course. Just pretend I didn't say that. It sounded unbelievably stupid. Oh, okay. It's a bit too close. Actually, don't I have... Oh, fuck, I hate this section. Yeah, I do. Because the wall... Well, actually, no, I could have made it here before, right? I think I did make it here before. Man, I... I thought I was discovering something... Hell on you. Hey, I forgot that there is... What is this? Boiling water? Guessing. Oh, did you see that landing? Who can blame me? Okay, keep farting that shit out. Oh my... I was gonna say I don't mind, but I fell back down. Oh, that doesn't actually respawn enemies in this game necessarily. It probably does restore their... No, it does actually... Oh, fuck. I am about to die. Dying to this enemy would be hella embarrassing too. I'm literally getting hit by everything. I see it coming, don't worry. Yeah, and yes, I have to check my map frequently, I know. Again, my navigational skills are not the best. Here, I do know where to go. I am not that stupid, luckily. Okay, Queen Station. First of all, there is a bench here. We are going to go, first of all, let's head back to Dirt Mouth. I think that's obvious step number one. Anything to say? Nah. Thought he would have something new. I'll buy it. Naisu. The reason is... Grants you more time to recover after taking this. That doesn't sound bad. I'll get it. Honestly, that doesn't sound bad. <sighs> Trampin. Hell yeah. Can I mark the ones that I've already visited? So that would be... Super, super helpful. Yeah, there's one. That's the one I kind of want to go to. See that lake? That lake, I don't know. Whatever, we're going there. Let's 
Stop being distracted. Actually, it's probably closer to just go down through the well again. And I'm thinking about it. I didn't even notice that he walks while in the village. How polite. I like that. Is it closer though? Oh uh, yeah. I think again we can make it there. That was a really weird I, I don't know why I did that. Never mind. Oh yeah, I remember this place. Hey. Temple of the Black Egg. Actually, I don't remember this place. I'm sure this was a thing. Probably something like optional. Big boss, super boss. Do like me a super boss. Speaking of super bosses, the fucking Final Fantasy VII remake is coming out. It's gonna be pretty crazy. Can't believe the Mad Lads have actually done it. People always said, you know, like, what the fuck are you hoping for? There, there ain't never gonna be a remake of FF7. They're never gonna get around to it, boys. They, of course, the people who said that forgot that FF7 is like Square Enix's biggest cash grab. There's been like a million FF7s, so... It makes sense, you know, to... Oh, hey. Oh no, he blocks it like that as well. That's pretty good. As in, like, what I'm talking about is like FF7 franchise-ish games. Yeah, there's been like a million. Some shitty. Some not so shitty. It's actually been quite a few shitty ones. Wait, didn't I fail at... Wasn't there like a platforming section here somewhere that I couldn't pass? Whatever. Please work. Yes. It worked. At least time it actually leads to somewhere significant. Oh, look at him. Did I just exit? I'm stupid. There's dead people on here. Not people, but... I see it. Hell yeah. We are an adventurous type. I like that this game has some steampunk in it. You cannot deny that this game is steampunk-ish. Do not have a map. So this is a new area. Okay, that's the tunnel. Now I'm hyped. Where is this gonna lead us? Hopefully to new and bigger and better abilities. Mainly an ability that allows us to... Curse are those who turn against the king. Alright. It's good to know. Holy shit. Whoa! To protect the vessel, the dreamers lay sleeping. Monomer, the teacher, in her archive surrounded by fog and mist. Lurian, the watcher, in his spire looking over the city. Herod, the beast, in her den mist, the deep darkness beyond the kingdom. Through their devotion, Hallow Nest lasts eternal. Is that gonna be like the three big bosses? Dreamer locations added to map. I... Definitely. Go no further, little shadow. What compels its climb out of the darkness? What compels its return to the sacred kingdom? Call beyond the seals. Okay. Oh, it's them that they're talking. 
Whoa, okay. I'm not ready for this. I thought that was going to be a boss fight. Hella controller vibration. Fade away, little shadow. Fade away and let us sleep in peace. Are we the bad guys in this game? Like, are we, like, fucking this world up? I mean, this doesn't look like a bad guy. Look at him. Uh, hello. Okay. I was gonna say... I was just about to say make some platforms for me. No, we cannot be the bad guys in this game. That would be... Pretty shitty. Cause this thing is kind of adorable. You can get like pins of him. That had to have been like a fun pop figurine or something of this character, right? There had to have. GG's. Oh, we don't take damage. Okay. Just the eternal shame of not making the platform. That's your punishment. Okay. Oh, are we dead? I think I'll do the latter. Holy shit, it's a lightsaber. Taken the dream nail. Hold triangle to charge and slash with the nail. Cut through the veil between dream and waking. Holy shit, this, this is getting exciting. Like, shit is actually happening in this game now. Oh, it's a bug. What up? Welcome back to the waking world. Okay. You only have to bring me essence. We have a new resource, right? Oh, he's calling us something different. Alright. This is gonna be... Please don't tell me this is gonna be a fetch quest. Resting grounds. I knew it! Oh, that is a cool animation. I fucking knew you would interact with those. Wait, did it just say we need a hundred of these? Holy fuck. This, this quest is feeling pretty fetchy. Hopefully this is not going to be like a Metroid Prime 3 situation where they send you on a fetch quest like the last before like the final act of the game. Yeah, I was going to say it's got to be an even 20. He's so cool. Does it take like spirit to use or something? Okay, and you cannot interact with it once it's like... Once it's be gone. I'm gonna try this shit on everything, I swear. So I definitely remember the location of one of these. Interesting connection. <laughs> That's pretty funny. I like this N NPC. Oh, we can talk to him too, right? I think I've talked to him before, right? 
So before we go any further, first of all, I cannot believe we have to collect a hundred of these. That gave us 20. We have to find quite a few of these trees. Nice. First things first, let me just have a look around. What a bitch is. Kind of didn't think that would be replayed, but thanks. Got out of your shitty dream world, didn't I? This bothers me. The fact that I cannot break these. Maybe you just gotta. No. It's not. It's not like that. You have to have like some specific ability to do this. Man. Never mind. What I'm gonna do, I think. First of all, let's go back and check if he... The little seer guy says anything different. Probably not. Sometimes dreams take the shape of those who have passed away. Search carefully near graves and other monuments. That's what I was just about to do. He said to fuck with the grave. Not like that, like, don't go necro on it, but... Strange. Strange, strange, strange. Unless he means the actual thing as well. The, the tree. Well, there wasn't a fight, though. Whatever. Let's get out of here and go back to dirt mouth. I think I spent all my cash though, but it doesn't matter. So again, I specifically remember one more tree, which will give us 40. Oh, the other thing was I should have... Yeah, okay, the fungal waste, deep nest, and there's one off to the side like that. We, g we gotta have some way of getting into that area with the the you know the darkness Bapanada. <sighs> Let's get it. Cheap too. Let's get both of these. And let me just check. So we are looking for warrior's graves. Which are a little red thingies okay so there is no warrior grave but there are more paths from the resting ground that I've missed apparently forgotten crossroads I remember that place it says something like it goes down to somewhere that was very exact. Hmm. Just thinking of where we could go next. Because I kind of am out of ideas here. It shouldn't matter though. 
we'll look at the resting grounds again in the next episode but i think for now what i'm gonna do is i'll wrap up this episode of hollow knight here i want to thank you guys very much for watching uh hope you enjoyed this episode actual shit happened we advanced the plot i feel like it's been a while since we've done that anyways i'm gonna go ahead and wrap it up here thank you guys very much for watching uh i'll see all of you next time peace out guys